Hello Rogues, this is Darren Gray from Roguelike Radio. I am playing Brogue and I'm at a very special moment in the game. I am on depth 26, the final level unless one wishes to explore further for extra bonus points. Uh, if you have not played Brogue extensively before then you might want to skedaddle out of here because this is going to be spoilerific. Right, this is only the second time I've gotten to depth 26. Uh, the kind of the the level on which you find the amulet of Yendor and thus can possibly win the game. Um, the last time I'm, I had an axe of quietus and I managed to quite easily uh, romp my way through killing dragons and all sorts, grabbed the amulet, ran away and then a few floors up uh, I got negated by a pixie whilst walking over some lava. Um, that was a very shameful and I am going to try to actually win this time. Uh, we'll see how well that works. So I've I just got onto the the level. I read a map of magic mapping type thing. Scroll of magic mapping. So I can see the whole level. Um I give you a, 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 a guide to what I've gotten and sort of so I I fairly early on found this broadsword. Um found it on death one. It was in one of those kind of treasure room type things. I I had detect magic so I could see that it had uh thing me uh, oh god, I'm so excited here. Ah, um, yeah, I could see that it had uh, a blessing on it, so I decided let's let's just go with that and start sinking my enchants into it. I also found this on death two, scale mail of absorption, and this was only plus one I think at the start, but I've been pumping enchants into this as well. At the moment, it uh, every time something attacks me, it absorbs between zero and nine percent of the damage inflicted. So, you know, if something hits me for only 8 damage, potentially I will ignore that damage entirely. And even, you know, stronger monsters that are hitting, uh, they're getting a lot of that absorbed. Um, I've got a Ring of Light and a Ring of Awareness. The Ring of Awareness is so, so useful. And at these sorts of deaths, the Ring of Light is also incredibly useful. Sometimes I'm swapping in a Ring of Regeneration when I need to get some health back and rest up. I've got a good amount of food, um, so that's all grand. Um, and I have two haste charms, and these have been really invaluable in the later lessons. Haste, uh, very useful. Um, I've got some lightning for dealing with, with things from afar, some tunneling, just for running away a lot of the time, um, or avoiding things. Uh, I've got a wand of polymorph, which I've had to use on a dragon and a tentacle horror before, um, and negation, which has been quite useful against different spell casters and such. I've not had a chance to use this wand of beckoning yet, it's not really coming useful. This I figured out is a fire immunity potion if I need to get it. Uh, and then I've got these potions if I need them and some some fire darts and ah god I'm going to die, I know it, I can feel it, no I'm going to win, I'm confident, it's all good. I have a pet here, pet phoenix, I found it a couple of floors before, uh, does it say what floor I got on? No it doesn't. Now following us should also be, yes! This chap here, a golem. Um, this has been an interesting ally, the golem. Um, in that, what I found it at one of those kind of tied up moments. Uh, it was tied up, and I rescued it, and it had pretty much zero health at the time, and it died not shortly after. But then I found a resurrection altar, and it came back with full health. And a golem at full health is actually pretty cool. It doesn't regenerate at all, you see. Uh, so it's it's got a load of health, and it's quite a nice ally, but. Um, yeah, without regenerating, it's a bit useless. But since I was able to resurrect it, that was useful. Okay, I've read the scroll of magic mapping. I really wish I had some telepathy here. Um, oh god, I'm gonna die! Right, hang on, cup of tea, cup of tea time. <sighs> okay, okay, it's gonna be fine. So let's go explore this little ranch. Uh, some bloats up there. Um, I'll be honest, that phoenix, is look, look at it, right? Look at what it's doing, it's going up and, piss off phoenix, got yourself killed. Well, what, well, no you didn't, okay. But, he's been going, waking up dragons and all sorts of stuff and, brr, really quite annoying me. Alright, this doesn't seem to be anything there. This, this level's weird, right? Look, look, look here, okay? This, these enclosed bit and something here with a key uh, an altar there's an altar up there um i've never seen something like this there's commutation altar i don't think i have anything useful for the commutation altar because I, uh, I like everything as it already is i think 
yeah, there's nothing I would commute. Um, commutation altar lets you swap charges between things. Resurrection altar. If I get my golem killed on this level, then I can get it resurrected in time as well. Um, there's something going on over here. You can see these red, red glyphs. To be honest, I don't care. Uh, I'm going to get the amulet and and run. Is the general plan for me. So let's see. And gold will determine my final points. So I will prioritize getting gold. Oh shit, a revenant. Um, I will prioritize running away from that revenant. Uh, there's some steam clouds there that will probably hurt if I go into them. Um, revenants. There, there was a revenant up there. They don't do. They don't take damage from weapons. I could kill it with my staff of lightning, but I'm probably best saving it for um, other nasty things that may or may not be. I'm going to be on door. All right. Let's, let me just get this potion of strength. Oh, I'm feeling tense. Let's see. If I grab the amulet, it will straight away summon the Warden of Yendor. And my allies will be really dumb and just try and attack it. I'm going to eat that mango. Uh, even though I'm full, because um, I'm like that. I'm greedy. Oh, God. Right, what's that scroll? Sanctuary. That's not very useful. Do I have room for it? Yes, I do. There not be any krakens. There's not. Okay. Ooh. So in terms of monsters that are being annoying, potion for hallucination was useless potion. Two bloats. This this is very strange. There's been four bloats in this level. Ding. Um. That's just yeah, it's a bit unusual really. Here we go. T. Right, I'll throw a dart at it, and that will burn up that cloud as well. Can I get it? Yes. There we go. Um. All right. And at this point, it gets a bit messy. So stand back. Okay. Good. That clears them. Um. Ah. Bollocks, Revenant, uh, Revenant, I can't do anything with, it's, it's, aha, I can't, I can negate it, and now it will be susceptible to damage, it dies in one hit even, that's, that's tasty, alright, got some gold, nothing in there, really wish, what's this, lever, I don't know what that did, open a passage, some underworms, I can kill. Wow, these die pretty easily, actually. Probably because I am a bad ass. Is that it? Oh, wait, uh, there's more here. Oh, it seems to slowly be decaying. I've not seen this before. So, what's this? A door key? Okay. That's it. All right. I did get the door key, didn't I? Yes. My pack is now full. Uh, my biggest worry is something really nasty is going to spawn here. So, I mean, I really should just be running the feck away. And what's this? This is a bit strange. This is a stone garden. It's, there's normally something being protected here. The Stone Guardian has a door key. Um. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Oh, no, ah! No, I didn't mean to step on that. Right, normally you step on these red things and the Stone Guardian then moves and you kind of got to outwit the whole system. Oh, oh, no, no, don't get away from the Kraken. Did they kill it? Yeah, it looks like they did. So that's the commutation altar. Let's see, can we get into this? No, it's kind of solid stone y. I want to know what's behind there. Uh, uh. Oh, there's. Shit. 
shoot Kraken! Um, okay, now I want the resurrection altar. Just so I can... Up ahead way. Bollocks. Um, I should just run away. I should just run away. No reason for me to, to not do that. Oh, Phoenix. Oh, bollocks to you, Phoenix. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't die like this. Um, this is a shit way to die. What's the quickest way to get out of this? Ah, oh, this this will be shameful if I die like this. Not to a bloat. Oh God! I'm gonna react with indecision here. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I can't believe that. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> so, um, yet again, uh, victory has been snatched away from my own stupidity. Um, oh God, what could I have done? I could have just bloody grabbed the amulet and gone without bloody exploring the rest of the stupid level and messing about with all the oh dear. I could have killed it with a potion of incineration before it ever got to me. I could have thrown a potion of incineration whilst I was in the cloud and then taken fire immunity and then I would have been the cloud would have burnt away and I would have been fine. few things I could have done there. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Uh, that was that was great. That was really good. That was. I feel I really feel really happy after that. One of my best ever runs. <laughs> my best ever run. Yeah. Killed by a bloat. Level one fucking monster. I'm I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching. Go play some Brogue. Bye.